Well, we have three machines in our range. Uh, we have uh, Comcup 200, which is our small footprint machine, specifically for R&D centres and test centres who want to cut up uh, test specimens very easily. Uh, it's the, the small footprint, but it's low cost as well. Then we have two other machines, which are our bigger ones. We have a 600 by 600 millimetre machine, and we have a 1200 by 1200 millimetre clear panel size machine. But those are the big boys. But for this event, we've brought this smaller footprint machine just because it's easy to transport and it's easy to show people what we do because all our machines work with the same principle and this is something that, that seems to be getting across the message of how we, we approach the cutting process for cutting samples. Well, anything that's a composite. Um, if you're looking to cut composite carbons, we can cut that on this machine. If you're looking to cut composite aluminiums, we're, uh, we've just started cutting those. I think they're ACMs. And we've also started um, ceramics as well. We started cutting ceramics on this machine. So it's pretty much you know, got a wide spectrum of, of what it can cover off. You can use different blades on it as well to, to get different finishes. But effectively, we've got one blade that, that covers the whole lot. And we've been tasking people with actually bringing their samples with them so that they can actually well, we can cut samples for them and then they can see what sort of finish they get on the machine here at the show. One of the key things and one of the, the main selling points of, of our machines and anybody who's cutting composite test samples is that they have to be cut so they've got a very clean cut so that the finish is particularly good. Uh, they also have to have something which is, and I don't know if you can see this on, on the video, but what you're trying to do is get the parallelism uh, so that it's in incredibly good. In, our, in other words, both sides have got to line up wherever you measure it, whether it's here or here. Uh, and as well as that, you're looking at perpendicularity, which is for the corners. You want to try and get that so that um, you know, you've got a perfect corner there. Now, with our machines, uh, you're looking at about 0 0.02 uh, millimetres over about a 100 millimetre cut. So it's very, very, very precise and within the international standards that are required. So in other words, with our machines, you can actually test straight from the machine. So you don't have to deburr and polish and things like that which is hence the reason why people have been obviously bringing their samples in for us to, to cut today and um, just prove that it does do what it, it, it says it can do. I mean, one of the things that's been interesting is when we, we initially looked, we thought it was going to be a very small window of who we could, we could supply to, but we've started to realise that there are a lot of the manufacturers who are out there are actually having to before a product's released they have to actually test their own samples so they have to cut them up themselves so we've suddenly found that in aerospace and automotive we're actually getting um, we're getting sales in those regions but as well as that all of the universities that are out there are coming to us and saying well look we've realized that aerospace and automotive are going to be using these and they're going to be needing this and obviously composite testing is going to be something that's big in the future so as a result the universities are all looking and we've opened up another market there so yeah it, what started off as something that was very small we've realized it's it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes on